Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome back to my channel. T to the Y to the M to the A R A. All right, today we want to see what's going on in your energy. So, Spirit, please give me a message for the Sagittarius Collective. All right, let's see what's going on in your energy, Sag. Don't forget to thumbs up the video and subscribe for those of you that are new. All right, let's see what's coming for Sagittarius. We have gossip, Lord, empathy. And balance okay gossip empathy and balance wow we have balance out here twice okay spirit please clarify gossip Two of Pentacles, followed by the Page of Swords and the King of Cups. <coughs> okay. The person I see gossiping about you seems to be somebody either that's younger or immature with this Page of Swords coming out. This is a person, This so this is a possible air sign, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. I feel like what this person seems to be talking about is what you have going on, but it's not in a positive light. I feel like someone is either talking about... I almost feel like somebody's talking about either your finances or your money, saying that you can't afford what you're doing, or... Yeah, I feel like they, you can't afford what you're doing or look at Sagittarius doing this and doing that or the way they, uh, somebody almost think that you can't balance what you're doing, that they feel like, it's either they talking about your house or your car or your finances or what you have going on, but it's not, it's in a malicious way. Somebody thinking that you're either down and out or you lost out on something. When really in reality, everything that you have going on is because <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I feel like I gotta clarify this some more. <laughs> they are all the way wrong. I feel like you know that somebody is gossiping about you and with the king of cups this is a person who's like very like emotionally stable it's giving me this energy you don't you don't care you're very balanced or you know yourself or you're fine like i just feel like you don't care somebody is steady in your business watching you and you're fine <laughs> look at the bottom of the deck seven of pentacles you slowly doing something and watching something grow but i almost feel like somebody is watching your money watching your finances This could be a person that you consider to be a friend or somebody you hung out with, somebody that you love with the three of cups coming out here. Wow, ten of cups. Ooh, somebody is unhappy and miserable. They are unhappy and miserable. And look what you have, the ten of cups. Ten of cups. Wow, I already see what this is. I already see what this is. And then I just saw the death card at the bottom of the deck. The reason why somebody is sitting here gossiping, talking about you, slandering, saying whatever they want to say, especially this air sign. So once again, this is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. For one, they're immature because this is either a teenager, a young person, an immature person, or someone that can't find their way. So here they are. Their face is turned towards you. So they're facing you, watching everything you have going on. They're not worried about themselves or in their own business. They're watching what you have going on, Sagittarius. And what they're talking about is the fact that either they feel like you can't handle what you have going on. You got a lot going on. It's either look at Sagittarius' house, look at their clothes, look at their car, look at it. Like, it's something that they're talking about what you have going on, how you're balancing life. Maybe you live life on the edge or you do something different. And this person is straight up just gossiping about this. Um, 
But meanwhile, what they don't realize is everything that you have going on, you love it. You're truly passionate about it with the King of Cubs. This is a person that loves what they're doing. And you are emotionally stable. And I feel like you know that this is going on and you're not paying it no mind. Because look at you, this person watching you, but you, you're you not paying attention to it. Obviously, whoever this is, they're not saying it to your face. They're saying it behind your back. And I feel like this is a person that you once used to love or you spent a lot of time with. This also could be a person you still have inside your energy. So this is a person that's part of this either. This is a group of friends. So it's three of them. This is a group, a friend or somebody that you work with with the pinnacles coming out. This also could be a person that... I feel like you once either you went out to eat with them. You spent a lot of time with them. This is a person that was a part of your social group. So this is family. This is friends. This is somebody you was close to because you once used to celebrate with them or have a good time with them. And meanwhile, they're sitting here gossiping about what you have going on. But they don't realize what you're doing and the way that you're doing it actually makes you happy. This is what you want to do. This is what you're choosing to do. <laughs> and... What you're working on right now, you're actually slowly building this empire. You're going up. You're watching it. You're watching something grow. I also feel like this person could be talking about you as well because they see they're gossiping about you to whoever choose to listen because they see that you're slowly building something. I feel like this could have been a person that gossiped about you and said all this stuff about you. Maybe you once been it to them. I'm getting sadness here. You once could have confided in them and told them what you have going on. They didn't believe what it would happen because you went from the two of pentacles up to the seven of pentacles. So I feel like this is a person that didn't believe in your dreams or whatever you had going on. And but and they didn't think that you truly had the discipline to make something manifest itself. But now it is growing. It's slowly growing. And so now this person is sitting here nine of cups unhappy because you actually made your dream come true you're actually making something come to fruition and you're doing this for your family you're doing this for your family once again ten of cups this is ultimate fulfillment this is you watching your dreams come true this is you building on something that's going to be i feel like it's a lot of emotional stability here a lot of happiness your family's happy your kids happy you're happy and somebody gossiped about it beforehand they really didn't they so i'm getting this energy somebody thought you was cuckoo for doing whatever this is that you thought you that you said you was going to do they didn't believe you they really didn't believe you and now you're sitting here at the ten of cups and they sitting here unhappy especially with the orange being crossed I'm getting like envious energy, somebody being miserable, somebody sitting here alone. All these cups, it could be somebody that has a drinking problem. Every time I see cups, I feel like somebody's drinking. So this could be somebody that has a drinking problem. I also feel like Sagittarius, you could have told this individual, this air sign, or it could be an earth sign, water sign as well. You could have told this individual, watch one day, maybe when you were sitting here in your two of pentacles energy, you could have told this person, hey, one day I'm going to buy my house. And they, Sagittarius ain't going to get that house. Watch them. They ain't going to get it. They don't never get anything. Da, da, da. They don't have the discipline to do this. They don't have the discipline. They're not focused. They are all over the place. Or you could have said, one day I'm going to buy my house, I'm going to buy my car, I'm going to open my restaurant, I'm going to start that business, I'm going to get that new job, I'm going to get that promotion. It's something you kept telling them I'm going to get. And they sat here and talked about you, they gossiped about you, spoke behind your back, slandered your name, said something. And then here you are, sitting here happy, wish coming true, feeling fulfilled, feeling content with life, feeling at peace slowly watching something grow you kept your head low and you stayed focused you stayed disciplined somebody thought you really didn't have this discipline but you did it somebody didn't see this happening but you concentrated and you did it all by yourself i mean of course with the help of god but you did it all by yourself and you stayed focused you kept your head low you stayed disciplined and then here you are okay what's going on with this empathy energy spirit What's going on with this empathy energy? So 
Someone's in here stuck and confused. Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Hangman in the reverse. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Followed by the World card in the reverse. Wow. And then we have the Five of Swords. Somebody is all stuck in their head because of what you have going on. Now they're just stuck and they're feeling bad. They're feeling some type of way. That maybe they should have believed you because now they're saying hey, this energy feeling stuck with the hangman, not sure how to come at you in a situation, not sure how to talk to you or communicate with you. I almost feel like somebody's life is throwing off balance right now, and they're battling with something financially. This could be a mother figure with the Queen of Pentacles coming out in the reverse. This could be somebody's mother. I'm getting this energy of somebody feeling a deep regret for what they did to you or how they treated you. Someone really thought they could get underneath your skin or affect you in some type of way with their words or how they handled situations. When really, all you did was just walk away. They really thought like, hey, I have that Sagittarius energy. I have that Sagittarius attention now. Watch. I know the right thing to say to get underneath their skin. And they're going to come running back. But no, you chose to just walk away. You said you can have that. I'm choosing my peace over anything. And so now this person is sitting here in this energy of feeling unbalanced. You see balances coming out in the reverse. And they're sitting here feeling bad. And I almost feel like there's this energy of you actually feel sorry for this person. Because maybe you could see the bigger picture of things and you feel sorry for them. Or also you just knew where everything was stemming from. You could really be a type of person that can sense feelings or emotions. Or somebody can say it's one thing. Let's say somebody told you Sagittarius. I need you to take uh, whatever. Somebody's fussing at somebody about taking the trash out. And you're like, no, that ain't over no trash. There's something deeper there. I feel like this is with this situation. You feel like you knew with something deeper there. You can sense it. Your impact. And you can feel that something's going on. So maybe you know that this person is being affected by how they treated you. You knew it was going to come back around on them with the world card coming out in the reverse. You knew whatever goes up must come down and those tables do turn. Almost like giving karmic energy. So I feel like some type of cycle. Either a cycle has closed out or something came back around to somebody. Because somebody truly either gossiped about you or said something. And now they can't be a part of this happiness. They're not, they're not a part of your happiness. I don't know why I feel like I want to say this. Somebody could be missing their grandchild or grandchildren. Because to me, it just seemed like a mother looking down at something. So... I don't know. I feel like I want to say that. Somebody can be missing a grandchild or something. Or not a part of their grandchildren's life. I'm getting this energy that this person was so bold to think that they could manipulate you and get into your head or do something eat um uh, yeah i feel like manipulation i almost feel like this person was so bold they thought they can manipulate you and that they can control you because this has been an ongoing cycle that has been going on forever with this infinity coming out i also feel like this is a cycle that ended or something came to an end you could be born in somebody's birthday could be in may with the five coming out or somebody's birthday is in august I'm also getting this energy right now. Somebody thought you would have been, been caved a long time ago. They didn't realize you truly had the strength to keep holding out on either not communicating with them. They didn't think you had the strength to keep going to pursue or go after your dream. Because I still keep feeling like somebody told somebody that something was going to happen, but they didn't believe you. They wound up gossiping about it. When you were sitting here and things were rocky and tough. I keep I see that movie Acrimony right now. And if you ever seen it by Tyler Perry, you know the guy with the battery. I still don't know who's right or wrong in this situation. I don't know. It just is. 
but rather if somebody's on Taraji's side or on the husband's side, all I know, this person kept working on his battery, juggling life. And it was a lot of emotional roller coasters. And somebody was sitting here gossiping about what you had going on. They was just talking, talking crap. Sagittarius ain't going to get it. They ain't going to do it. They ain't going to do this. They ain't going to do that. Maybe it's due to your history. Maybe it's some things you felt. And so somebody was happy about this. I almost feel like when somebody was sitting there hanging out with friends, they were sitting there talking to anybody that would hear them. <sighs> talking about you, telling your business. Whatever business that they did know. Somebody just assumed they knew what you had going on behind the scenes and they really didn't know. You were sitting there planting seeds and watching something grow. Somebody who truly didn't see all the investments you had here. You could have just told somebody two things. I almost feel like you told somebody two things. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. But they didn't know that you really had seven different things in the works. You could have just said, hey, I'm going to be a social media influence. I'm going to create my YouTube page or I'm going to start this new job. But somebody didn't know you was investing in this. You had money over here. You did this on the side. You was creating passive income here. They didn't know you had all this going on. And it's just like, wow. Wow. They really pulled it off. You and your you and your family, your spouse, your significant other, and your kids, y'all sitting here good. Somebody sitting here building on an empire. <coughs> and somebody sitting here feeling snooty, unhappy, misery loves company, really upset that you really made something out of yourself. This is a person that truly was not happy for you. Could also be a water sign. So this is Cancer Pisces Scorpio as well that's coming out. All right, give me more in this balance energy. <laughs> the star card. This is you. Something could. Something could be um, could involve a Aquarius here. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay. And what else we have? The Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay. The three of the three of swords and the reverse. You're in this energy of bringing balance back into your life. All I see happening for you in the future is you living a balanced and leveled life. It's like if you wish for something, it's going to come true. If you manifest something, it's going to come true. You are bringing, you're balancing your emotions. You're making sure you're checking in with yourself as well as somebody could do a lot of grounding work because I see nature out here. Somebody could do grounding work, could love sitting by the lake, by the pond, by the water, going to the beach. This is also this energy I feel like of people, you inspiring other people, people looking up to you. I see everything you ever hoped for and wished for coming true with the star energy coming out. You could be a person that follows astrology or numerology with the stars. You follow your spirit guides. You're very connected with nature. I feel like you're in this energy where you know how to, if your energy feels thrown off or out of balance, you know how to get it back into alignment. You know how to pour into your cup. This is giving me this energy of, say, balance. You know how to pour into your cup. You know how to bring balance back into your life. If you feel like you're not yourself, you're like, hey, let me go take some time off to myself. I know what I need to do. I got to go pray. I got to go balance my chakras. I got to go meditate, do some yoga. Got to go do this, do that, take a bath. You know what to do to bring balance back into your life. And because of you having this connection as well to spirit, they continue to bless you. They are continuing to bless you. They are blessing you emotionally and I feel like they're blessing you emotionally. They're blessing your household. They're blessing your finances, your job, your career, your family. And you're in this energy of just having all these new beginnings. There's also this energy here. 
I'm getting this energy that you are a person who knows how to think big. Maybe you are a visionary. So you can see the bigger picture behind things. This is giving me like philosophy energy or philosopher energy with the think bigger. I feel like that somebody does not have this mindset to think big. And so this is why they missed out on this blessing because they could not see it for themselves. How could they see it for you? So somebody did not see that this was coming and this is why this is such a shock and they sitting here unhappy. Because they did not have a mindset to see. So when you were speaking and telling somebody about your dreams and this is what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this and do that. They did not have the willpower or the mindset to think bigger. And you chose to think bigger. You're, I get this. There's this energy here where you're like, I'm not going to let past hurts or pain stop me from going after my dream. Regardless, I'm still going to go after my dream. Yeah, I got hurt. Yeah, I got stabbed or this happened, that happened. Um, I failed before. I went through all this trauma or whatever in the past, but it's still not going to stop me from going after my dreams. I'm going to pull these knives out and keep on going. I'm going to keep on persevering. And yeah, you went through the hard times, the cloudy times. The and you, I feel like you went through the lessons. You realized that some things were actual blessings. And you realized that where certain things came from. And you moved on with your life. You released this pain. You didn't stay stuck here. And this is what's bringing balance back into your life. Because you know how to take a bad situation and turn it into something good. You took this pain. And I feel like you, what do you call it? Trans transmutation i feel like you took this pain and you transmuted it into something positive this could be somebody taking their pain i don't know you hear those stories of somebody having pain and say they got into a car accident lord forbid or something next thing you know they're taking that pain and they're making a tiktok series telling you about the car accident how they sued this how they did that how they did that and how they overcame and it manifests into a lot of money and then it manifests it manifests into a lot of money and all types of following and everything else because you took your pain and you released it and you actually turned it into something that people are now supporting with the star energy coming out. And this is what's bringing balance back into your life because not only you're realizing that, okay, my pain is somebody else's healing. My pain is my healing. I can learn from it, but also I can heal other people because of this pain. And here it is bringing you in a lot of money and making you feel emotionally stable because you're thinking outside the box and you're thinking bigger. Okay. What is serving Sagittarius in this situation? What's serving Sagittarius in this situation? Ace of Wands. Oh my word. You have the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and Ace of Wands. Back to back to back. All you have a whole new life, new perspective, new outlook, and everything is coming from spirit. Look at that hand coming in. They have their hand in everything that you have going on because you chose to overcome. You chose to be resilient. You chose to keep on persevering. You chose to release the pain. You chose to heal the trauma. Three of Swords, mommy, is healing the trauma. Getting out of your own way, getting out of your head. And, you know, the star card is healing. This is healing something. I see somebody going to either a spiritual retreat. Or maybe you love, you see a lot of either you speak to your spirit guides, you see a lot of signs, synchronicities. This could be maybe birds. Somebody's favorite color could be red. I also see the sense with the star card of you choosing to be vulnerable. You're not afraid. Some people bury their pain, but you're choosing to tap into that pain. That's why I keep hearing transmute, 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 transmute this pain into something else. Transmute your trauma into something. Into something positive. You're not, especially with the star card, she's on here naked. So I feel like this is you going back to the beginning, going back to basics. Uh, tapping in with yourself, being aware of what's, what's your triggers, what you like, what you don't like. Getting to know yourself. And this is what's bringing you balance. 
because I almost feel like you're a person that says, like, I know that I'm not perfect. I'm not perfect. By no means, I'm not perfect. People aren't perfect. No one is perfect. And you're very aware of that. Some people can walk around and say, hey, I'm perfect. I'm God's great gift, this and that. And my stuff don't stink. <laughs> You're not that type of person. I'm getting this energy of a balanced person, like you're being down to earth. And this is why you're having all these new beginnings. You feel for people. You aren't afraid of helping others with the empathy. So when I ask what is serving you right now, what's serving you is you're not a you're a mutable sign. So you're not afraid of starting over. Or if you see an opportunity, you're going to seize it. You're going to take the action. You're going to do whatever needs to be done. If you have to pivot and go this direction and then, you know, something else come up, then you got to change directions and go somewhere else. You're not afraid of a new beginning. You're not afraid of starting over. You're not afraid of taking action. You're not afraid of putting in the work. You do what needs to be done. And you also have this energy of being very creative and passionate. That's what the Ace of Wands is, a creative, passionate individual. So you're tapping, with you tapping into that creative energy and remaining disciplined, you're starting to see the, you're starting to see your harvest. This is you reaping your rewards, reaping your harvest because you're remaining disciplined. And you took the steps to do something new, to change something. You know, if you don't change, if nothing changes, then nothing changes. If there is no change, but you don't like your certain situation, then there will be no change. You will keep getting the same results over and over again. Somebody in your world chose not to change with the world card in reverse. They don't, somebody is not changing. And so they didn't expect you to change because they have not changed. They're continuing on the same cycle. And you just feel bad for them. You feel for them. You know what this is with this empathy coming out. And this is why they're remaining stuck. And you're like, mm. hurt people tend to hurt people. You're like, you're not going to take me down this path with you because you want to win at all costs. Or you want to be conniving, backstabbing, lying. You want to do all these um, malicious things. I'm just going to walk away. I'm going to drop my swords and walk away. This is, this is bigger than me. This is no longer my fight. This is not my fight. You're not going to pour me in your drama. Or whatever this is. You can stay stuck there yourself. And you can keep going down this cycle. But I'm going to tap into my own inner strength. And I'm going to pick up and walk away. Because I have bigger things to do. I, I think bigger. I see bigger. I see what this is. So what's serving you is the fact that you will take action and do something new. What's not serving Sagittarius? What's not serving Sag? The temperance. What's not serving you is when you are out of balance. When you are out of balance, you have too much going on. This is when you are disconnected from spirit. You're not using your discernment. You're not listening to your guides, your intuition. <coughs> Excuse me. This is where you're not listening to God. This is where you're pour, pouring from an empty cup. You're giving and giving and giving, and then there's nothing else left. This is where, you know, you don't really have a lot of schedule. Things are all over the place. You're eating unhealthy. You're doing unhealthy things. You're just... All over the place is what I'm feeling. That does not serve you when you are out of balance. You have to try to remain in this balanced energy. We have balance coming out here so many times with balance. That's what they want you to focus on with this reading. Balance. You need balance. And as you see right here, what does it say? Balance in reverse. We have balance again. Not Somebody in this cycle, this Queen of Pentacles, so either this Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or... This Leo or this air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. When you were in this cycle with this person, this is where you felt unbalanced. You see, we have balance coming out in the reverse. But as soon as you um decided to walk away from this energy, what did you have? Balance energy and new beginnings started happening with everything. You released this pain. You no longer stayed in this cycle. So it's not serving you to not be yourself or to not be balanced. You want to always be yourself, be in your energy. Do everything that makes you happy and feel fulfilled in life. Focus on your purpose and what you need to go on your own path. As you see, like, there's a path here. There's a... I don't know if y'all can see that, but there is a path here. This is following your own path that's going to lead you to victory. That's going to lead you to success. That's going to make you happy. You want to make sure you stay on that path. If you're not following your path, but you're following somebody else's path and what they want you to do, you're not listening to spirit. You're not listening to God. You're not following the signs that you're receiving. You're not trusting your feelings or your emotions with that water that's going on here. It's going to throw everything off. 
You got to remember to go out in nature, sit by the water, balance your energy. When you feel like you're getting thrown off, because especially Sagittarius, you're a fire sign. When that fire hit, it's like there's no control in it. You can burn every even you can light that fire and ignite people. You could be an inspiration and you could set a light or a torch and light everything up around you like a candle. You know, you can illuminate things or you can be like a fire and burn everything down when you are unbalanced. And they're telling you add some water to your add some water to your fire to add some balance. You know, you wanna still remain in your light and be yourself. But if you feel in out of balance make sure you're doing everything to get back in balance because that's not serving you all right what are the obstacles here that are standing in sash way look they just threw that out there what are the obstacles the obstacles is and we have the death card at the bottom of the deck so the obstacle standing in your way is you learning to trust your intuition and acknowledge what hidden emotions that you have here. Making sure you are paying attention to the hidden emotions. Bring an ending to the hidden emotions that's here. And walk towards whatever is going to bring you. Put you on the right path. But also bring you more towards the light. I feel like this is walking away from things that you should have ended or walked away from a long time ago. This is almost that energy. I feel like this is giving me the energy of everything can't be saved or everyone can't be saved. That you need to trust. And as you see, both of these have a path on here. There's a path here and there's a path here. So this is you trusting your intuition, paying attention to the emotion sets here that may be hidden, making sure that you are working on those emotions and whatever is going to bring balance into your life that's going to take you more towards the light is what i'm seeing you know things that bring you closer to the light that raise your vibration is love you know um positive things taking taking the negative and turning into positive you can't say focus on focus on love and light and positivity 24 7 of course not that, that wouldn't be reality that wouldn't be life but as you see, there are two things here. There are two buildings here. I feel like you need to stay at an even balance, a balancing, duality, balancing. I don't know if you study the universal laws, but pay attention to them. Read the universal laws and study them. That will help you with this. But there's a law of duality, a law of polarity, a law of rhythm, stand in rhythm and in sync with life. Don't be too much over here on the positive side that you're missing the signs and don't stay too much in the negative side that you are forgetting to live life and enjoy life. See, there's the moon and the sun. You need both aspects of life. You need the light, lighter side and you also need the shadow side of life. And that is bringing more light to, your, to the side that needs to be illuminated. That's you living in your truth and being your raw, authentic self. I don't know if you've seen that movie Inside Out. But towards the end of Inside Out, here's a spoiler for anybody that's going to see it. Anxiety learned to live with joy. They had to bring balance and all the emotions had to work together in harmony. But all the emotions were needed. One part of the movie that somebody didn't realize is that Joy also was trying to control the person, the avatar, us, your human desire. The whole time we kept thinking anxiety was the bad person. Anxiety just wanted everything to go right. They were constantly thinking about the future. But also Joy kept trying to make sure it kind of kept trying to control everything and bottling up her emotions. And that was called suppressed emotions versus Everything need to live in harmony together and coexist together. So this is you living in harmony with yourself, with your light and shadow side. Okay, so <laughs> the obstacle standing in your way is you learning to trust your intuition and live in harmony with both your light and shadow side and bringing it into things that is not beneficial for you on your path. Everyone can't be saved is what I keep hearing. Is everyone can't be saved. Everyone will not be with you alone this journey. But when it's time to go, it's time to go. It's time for you to elevate. It's time for you to elevate. You don't want to get passed by. All right, so Spirit, what's the outcome here? I almost feel like I want to pull one of these, a tea leaf. Give me a few tea leaves. We have clouds, temporary problems. Realize that anything that's going on in your life right now is just temporary. It's not there for the long run. It's just temporary. 
So certain situations, your financial situation, your relationship situation, uh, certain things, the thing going on with your boss, your co-workers, whatever, everything is just temporary. We only have but so much time here in these bodies. The clouds will pass, the storm will pass, because right after that storm, because what? The sun. The sun will come out. The sun will come out tomorrow. 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 I love you. Temporary problem. You're only a day away. And with the temporary problems that you have going on, guess what is setting you up for, Sagittarius? It's setting you up for the throne. Because you are in a position of authority. You have authority. You have to believe it and see that. that that's why they're sending you so many blessings. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups. It's because you are able to take it because you are emotionally... You're able to balance your emotions you're able to start balancing your life and you're able to take the action steps everything that's coming in new for you these new beginnings they're setting you up all for the position of authority that you have coming in position of authority you are a powerhouse authority figure in your realm something drastic could have happened for you in the month of may either somebody's birthday could be in may or this is where things started changing for you when you started walking towards this new beginning this new energy everything look what do you see a path this is where may is when they started setting you on this new path towards the strong energy so that's why they said everything that you have going on is only temporary it's temporary problems because we sent you on this path towards the strong somebody's name could be may Something could be significant to five. May to me is a five. That speaks of a drastic change. That's where, yeah, that's where change is happening. And this is in reference to your career. You authority figure. You want to be authority figure in your career or your calling, your walk of life, your path, whatever you're being called to do. Whatever this is that you're passionate about, this is where this change is happening. And it started in the month of May. So what you see as a challenge is not actually a challenge. Good advice from a wise person. You could be receiving good advice from a wise person or because you are the authority figure, you could be the person that gives out good advice because you are this wise person. Somebody could be seeing owls. Somebody's first name could be with an O, Olivia, Oliver, Oscar. Um, something with a W, first, middle, last name, or something with an L. Lynn, Lanise. Lion, Landry, Lisa, uh, Lamika, Lakeisha, La, mm, Latasha, Lana, Laura, Linda, somebody's name. You could have an owl tattoo. Or you could be seeing owls. I'm also getting the energy of somebody being a night owl. Maybe you like standing, staying up and working late at night or something. Also with seeing owls, somebody needs to probably get some more sleep is what I'm saying. Because you stay up late, so you need more rest. Also, an owl is an animal. This could be a spirit animal. An owl is something that's wise. And they're nocturnal. So something is yet to still be revealed. Okay. Give me an angel number spirit. Oh, I need to close this out. I need to close out this reading. Because something about the satellite internet, it takes hours to upload a video. Last time it took 25 hours to upload a video when my videos was long. I don't have that good old AT&T internet anymore. I'm on a different type of internet now. And it's satellite, especially being out here in the woods. So it takes a while for these videos to upload. When you see it is when you see it. Look, angel number 0505 speaks of unexpected shift. You're going through a shift. New beginnings all across the board. This speaks of divine intervention, sudden challenges, love, pleasant surprises, or gut feeling. It says this number serves as a gentle nudge to pursue whatever interests you most. It's possible that something could rock your boat 
but you'll end up exactly where you belong, which could be in somebody's arms, your dream job, or abroad. So they are telling you to do, follow that gut feeling. It's going to be a shift going on in your life. So for some of you, you could be wanting to live overseas and follow it. If that's where you want to go, you should go. If it's a dream job and you think about, like, hey, I need to switch careers. I want to do, this is what I'm doing now and it pays the bills, but it's not what I'm passionate about. It, about Then change your job and go after that dream job. Then we say something about these fives earlier. Look at the five out here again. Fives keep showing up right now. Something significant to the month of May is when this shift happened for you. And this is divine interfering with all those aces coming out. Then I say spirit was blessing you with something. They're trying to redirect you. They want you to go on a new path. This this shift that's coming on. A paradigm shift. A divine shift. Uh, one guided shift that's coming with spirit. And of course, with challenges comes the energy of a new opportunity. Whenever there's a challenge, there's an opportunity to learn something new, to do something new. There's an opportunity for growth. If it's a small challenge, it's a small opportunity. If it's a big challenge, it's a big opportunity. It's something that's going to grow. So it says this number serves as a gentle nudge to pursue whatever interests you most. This is you following your passion, following what, what you naturally feel that you need to be doing in your heart. Okay, what is one way that Sagittarius can heal? What's one way Sagittarius can heal? Invest in non-toxic home and beauty products. This can potentially reduce risk of allergies, breathing difficulties, and other health issues. So if you are experiencing some type of health issue right now, they are telling you to reevaluate the things that you are putting in, you know, that you have going on in your home or in your beauty products. Maybe it's the eyeshadow, eyeliner, eyelash glue, if your eye itching or something. It could be the cologne. You spraying it directly on your skin. You should be spraying it on your clothes. It could be the deodorant if it's some aluminum in it it could be what you're putting in your in your mouth or something that's in your home that you need to check out i don't know why i just heard mold maybe somebody have a house that's um a little bit older or something had a little, is leaking in your house and you're not aware of it but check that out somebody could be experiencing some type of mold problem or something it's but it said invest in non-toxic home and beauty products this can potentially reduce the risk of allergies somebody keeps experiencing allergies i hear somebody like <laughs> making that noise i don't know how to make that noise but it's like that throat I hear that back of the throat itching noise. If your throat itch or something, you, I don't know. Something going on, but the back of your throat is itching. Maybe it's some cat hair, or dog hair or something that's going on, or somebody got a new pet or something, or somebody's having problems with breathing. If you got something going on medically, I am not a professional, but make sure you seek a professional, a doctor, somebody to go get checked out. This is just, just for entertainment purposes only. But that's one way you can, one thing you can do to heal. And then what is the lesson that Sagittarius is meant to learn right now? What's the lesson? You have alone time. It says reflect and recharge in solitude. Alone time boosts your self-esteem by confirming that you are enough. Enjoy your inner peace and self-discovery. So it's time for you to spend time alone. Maybe you've been around people too much. You've been peopling too much. And then you're kind of getting frustrated, irritated, agitated or something. They are telling you to go spend time alone. So that way you can rejuvenate. Because you love your solitude. You love your, your alone time. It allows you to recharge. So it's time to go spend some time alone. That's going to make you feel better right now. And lastly, what's going on with Sagittarius finances? What's going on with their finances? abundance mindset it says cultivate and maintain a positive mindset to attract financial abundance so whatever it is that you say you will have you will have it as long as you cultivate that mindset stay in that mindset of saying that um i am more than enough i can manifest i can align with the things that i want just visualize it like you have this energy or you have this strong energy to manifest finances towards yourself you can call it in Hey, Spirit, here go this bill. I'm putting it on the altar. Can you pay this bill by tomorrow? The next thing you know, somebody just dropping money in your cash app. Say, hey, I just wanted to bless you today and buy you lunch or buy you a coffee because of the message you gave. Like, you never know. Just claim it. Maintain a positive mindset around money. You know, no lack mindset over here. But maintain a positive mon um, mindset to attract financial abundance. So this is you magnetizing it. This is you attracting it. This is you visualizing it, getting in alignment with it, manifesting it. Sometimes you got to go to the dealership and sit inside that car. Even if your bank account say zero dollars, go sit in the car. You want to get in alignment and say, universe, I'm ready for it. Even if you feel like you're going to be the next 
whoever i was about to say president you feel like you want to be the next president believe it whatever it is that you want for yourself believe it and get in alignment and get ready for it so that way the universe can do everything it needs to do to get you ready all right that's all i have for you if anything resonated please leave me a message down below and i'll see you next time take care